Hi guys, it's Cherokee from Tutorial Grid, and uh, on this little episode, we're going to teach you how to create this kind of snowy weather. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, we have uh, we're going to be using Particular, and uh, we're also going to use some uh, effect from Video Copilot, which is uh, some of our other snowy textures that we're going to lay on top of this. But for now, we are going to show you uh, what this kind of looks like. We got the uh, snow particles here in the background. The background's kind of moving around, and we have our foreground layer, which looks uh, pretty good. But uh, it looks pretty realistic. So uh, we already have our comped out footage. Uh, you're, if you haven't learned how to green screen, we uh, do have a tutorial on that, which you will will pop out here. You can use uh, see some of our earlier tutorials. But for now, we already have this green screened out footage or keyed out footage, and uh, we have a background layer on top of that, which is uh, just something I found online. Just type in snowy field in Google, you'll find it. But uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So from our new composition, we're going to go ahead and hit layer, new, solid. I'm going to create a black solid. And you're going to type in particular over here. It's already brought up, so you just kind of type in particular and drag that down to our black solid. Go ahead and zero out that so we don't see it too much. So this is our particle layer. It kind of just kind of flows in like so. Pretty simple. Yeah. That's about it. And that's all you need. Kidding. All right. So we have our emitter. And uh, we're just going to change some of the settings here. We're going to use a little bit more of a uh, particle. We're also going to change the point to a box. And then we're going to change our emitter X to uh, pretty big. We're going we're to want to pretty much fill this comp space quite a bit. And uh, that should pretty much do it. And then we're also going to change where the emitter point is. And we're going to kind of put this up on top. About right there. So we have our emitter going. And you can't even see it, but it's kind of falling down as if there was gravity. So we're going to go down to our physics and we're going to change our gravity just a bit and there. We're also going to want to change the particle life. So that kind of rains down a little bit. Now we're also going to change the wind. Actually, we're going to change the Z space on this too. So go ahead and hit your uh, emitter size. We're going to go ahead and uh, push this in and back into Z space. That way it's not all just kind of falling at one point. I kind of want a lot of depth. So we get, we get pretty far into the camera, pretty far out of the camera. So we have this kind of depth of field going on. And I'll show you how to do that here in a bit. But we have all this uh, snow falling. So we're going to go down here and we're going to change our physics so we're going to go into air and we're going to go into wind X which is going to be blowing this way so we're going to push that into our negative space just kind of a bit it's going to be a windy day and we're going to move this into Z space as well so it's going to be flying towards the camera we're going to move this back that way oh yeah by the way just so you guys know we don't want this to be starting as if you know it's just now starting to uh, snow. We want to go ahead and it's going to already be a snowy day, so it's just going to be it's going to be already snowing. So we're just going to take our black solid and just pull that comp down just a little bit and uh, into our timeline. That way we already have our particle effect working. But this is kind of what it looks like so far. You know, it's it's not bad. It's uh, it's, it's snowing. You know, it doesn't look uh, too bad. It's uh, of course fake. But uh, we'll get into that here in just a minute. All right, so with this on, it looks it doesn't look bad. But you got some snow. I'm gonna bring this down to quarter. You got some snow going on here. But notice 
here we have uh, some small far ground particles in our actual comp so we don't want that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our uh, I think it's called the fall off which is going to be into our visibility so let's go ahead and change our physics and go into our visibility section so our far vanish is what we can see uh, how far we can see out so we want to change that to to where whoa, about right there this is about where we want to see it at. this is where our particles are going to be at about 3000 and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate it we're going to duplicate this black layer and then we're going to set it underneath our particle system and then we're going to do far vanish we're gonna change that to all the way back to our uh, 2000 range here and we are going to cancel out our near vanish so all you're gonna see is this back uh, this back layer here so now we have particles going in front and behind our camera looks uh, pretty cool so now that we have our little particle system kind of flowing through here I also want to change uh, some of the other aspects of our world here so we're gonna go back into our air settings which is gonna be under physics air now we're going to change our spin amplitude which is going to make these particles just kind of uh, move around randomly we don't want to change it too much or else it's just going to be out of whack real fast but we do want to change it a little bit to where we do have a little bit of kind of a uh, just kind of a spinny little it's just kind of flowing a little bit changing it around here a little more just kind of got some random little little pieces flying around which makes everything just look a little bit more cool I think um, and we're also going to do that to the background. So, world system physics and spin amplitude right here. Just going to change that a little bit. So now we have this really snowy looking kind of composition. Now this does look a little fake. Not going to lie to you, it does look a little fake. It doesn't look a lot like uh, what I had before, but we still have some work to do. So now that we have that done, we're going to go into our composition settings or uh, our layer settings and we're going to hit new camera and uh, 36 millimeter is usually what I use. So we're going to go into 36 millimeter and we're going to change the uh, camera settings to camera options and we're going to change our depth of field to on now this is going to blur these close pixels out really really well and it's going to make it look like we're, we have a, uh, a camera in our atmosphere here so let's go ahead and change our aperture a little bit that way it kind of blurs out and fuzzes out and change our turn our blur level up just a, just a tad bit so that's going to blur out our pixels in the background as well as in our foreground. So now we have like this. It's going to be a little bit more snowy, more snowy looking. We're also going to change our particle layers to a 3D layer. And we're going to turn on that motion blur. Now we're starting to look... Uh, start to look a little better we have some motion blur going on we have our particles kinda moving around we got some pretty thick snow going on so it's looking real good but that's uh, pretty much how you create a, a simple type of snow effect now if you want to get a better snow effect you can actually go in like if you're looking for a um, like a real snowflake you can actually go and uh, create you a snowflake in Photoshop and you can change your particle to an actual snowflake and you can have them moving around in uh, in 3D space. Now one of the things I did change in uh, my composition is my background layer. I kind of blurred it out 
so it makes it look a little better so we'll, I'll go ahead and do that and show you how to do that so um, we used what's called a lens blur so just type in lens and you go over here to lens blur and just kind of pop that down here and notice how it already just kind of blurs it out just a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and change our change our radius and that just blurs that out like crazy so if you want to look like you're shooting through a 36 millimeter camera with a 1.8 lens on it you can totally do that with this uh, this little effect here Wow I really changes that let's uh, turn this down just a tad and we're just gonna kinda color this composition up so we're gonna go into our curve settings and we're going to put that on top of here this is just for fun I just kinda wanna make this look as good as possible for you guys that way you kinda know where I was coming from on this so I'm gonna turn this down a bit take this down kinda match that setting that I have to crush my black here this might be a little all right we got that and we're gonna change the saturations I don't really like how red his shirt is let's change that down turn that down just a tad kinda of brings that level down there a little bit and the yellows down and we are going to change the tone overall tone so go to new adjustment layer and type in tritone and the reason why I created an adjustment layer is that way this adjustment layer will affect all layers so we have all of these particles going in and they're going to be changed with our layer settings so I don't like that sepia tone we're gonna go ahead I like these these blues kinda around here now, I know what you're thinking this blue is crazy but whenever you blend it a little with the uh, actual layer it looks real nice it kinda gives that unsaturated kind of old type of feel but it's really cool so uh, it makes it kind of look like you know he, he's in this dusky type of weather and uh, and uh, we also have a special effect from our video copilot uh, particle world I guess uh, that they created with their uh, they called particle fusion but we're gonna go ahead and put that this so uh, I'll incorporate that into our little download but uh, we're gonna go ahead and incorporate that so we're gonna put that on top and that just kinda it's uh, it, it brings in a little bit more life to the video so we're just gonna bring that up and you know screen and it just makes it uh, a little more snowy just a little more snowy right there but feel free to play around with these settings uh, I mean obviously I did this really quickly my other composition you know it took me a little bit more time but you know this is the basics of uh, creating this effect though it's a pretty nice little little snowy effect but you can use it in all your compositions and um, I'd like to see what you guys created so if you want to you can upload uh, or uh, upload your videos to our little YouTube site and I'd like to see what you guys create so uh, this is Cherokee signing out on another tutorial about how to create snow